everyone, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodielki. Today's project is a request for a two-tone uh, granny square. So we will be focusing on how to really connect those two different types of yarns, two different colors of yarns. If you want to use these granny squares for a blankie or any project and you would like to learn how to go and attach them, I do have a playlist for attaching the granny squares. I will post it on my uh, video. We will start with magic loop. So you place the yarn over your two fingers because we want the magic loop to be uh, bigger, not small, okay? And then you wrap it around your fingers, going to the back of your fingers and over to the front, all right? And you place it in a crisscross. Then you go under this yarn right here and over this one and you draw a uh, loop and you make three chain. One, two, three. And now this represents uh, one double crochet stitch. Now make two double crochet stitches and you need to uh, work around these two yarns so you go under both of them okay so this is one double crochet two double crochet and two chain one two and again we will make three double crochet stitches okay so we, it looks just like these three one double crochet stitch, two double crochet stitch, and three double crochet stitch. Now instead of two chain, we will make one, okay? And now we will take our second color. Now that you have second color, okay? You will keep this yarn in the back and you will draw one uh, loop and make another chain. But I usually do it with both yarns just to make sure that this doesn't unravel, okay? Uh, actually, I could make it a little bit, uh, it's too long. My tail is too long. Okay, so let's do it one more time. So through the loop, through the chain stitch of the pink one, and make another chain stitch with the blue one, with the second color, okay? And now, this needs to be in the back. Don't crochet over this yarn that leads to your ball, okay? You need to crochet over these two. So continue doing, crocheting over these two, and actually you can even add this one to it. So yarn over, okay, and crochet around all these three, which is two tails and the uh, circle from the magic loop, okay, and make a double crochet stitch. Now do not worry about this yarn because we will be placing actually later on uh, double crochet stitches there so it will kind of connect because this yarn belongs to this double crochet stitch okay very good so now let's go and continue so we, we have one double crochet stitch and we have second double crochet stitch and one more Okay, one more, and now we need to make two chain, one and two, all right, and again we will repeat three double crochet stitches around the circle. Two, three. 
the beauty of the magic circle is that you will now pull on this pink yarn and it will make it into a tight circle okay now we still need to make two chain here that needs to be between this and this part okay between these three and three so make two chain and connect it into a circle so you will go into one two third stitch right here and slip stitch it okay make it tight now turn around and I usually like don't if you turn around like this then you have yarn in front I like to keep my yarn in the back when I am working on this okay so I will turn this way you see how it's in the back it's not here in the front okay and I usually keep this loop on my uh, needle I keep it long so I kind of reach here in the middle so I will go under and make a stitch I kind of slip stitch to the middle okay and I, I will make three chain which represents double crochet stitch and right now I'm starting to work in the corner okay so these chain stitches represent corner okay and we will work with always two stitches in the corner then we will go around the side and then we will make we will continue working in the next corner okay so when we're starting a new row we will make two double crochet stitches in other words one more double crochet stitch because this is one double crochet stitch already okay so we have one two double crochet stitches in the corner in this space okay and now we will work one two three stitches along the side make two double crochet stitches in this space in the corner one and two and now we will make our corner we will make one two chain for our corner again and again in this part we will make two more double crochet stitches In other words, each corner will be created with two double crochet stitches, chain two, and two double crochet stitches. Okay? Now we will work around this side, and again we will make three double crochet stitches. One double crochet stitch in each stitch. So one. two, three. Okay, but we're not finished yet. We still have to make two blue double crochet stitches in here in the corner. Okay? One, two, and now we are here with our pink color so what we need to do is make one chain and with the pink one and now pay attention with pink one we will make because this is gonna be a little bit different than we did it the first time okay we will go and make a uh, another chain 
and make sure that this yarn isn't too long so tighten it up a little bit it this yarn has to be this yarn has this has to be as long as this don't make it any longer or any shorter so you will make chain okay so we first did loop through and then a chain and it's getting actually a little longer so let me go and make it one more time so I'll go in and chain okay and now this stays in the back do not crochet over it and we will make two double crochet stitches one and two because this is our next corner this is our first corner this is our second corner and again do not worry about this yarn because next time we will be working in this spot and it, it's going to go and be pushed against this double crochet stitch okay now we will do our side so again three double crochet stitches here one double crochet stitch in each stitch so this is my three one two three okay two chain one no no I'm sorry no 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 not two chain yet no 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 uh, we need to work on a corner uh, so we will make two double crochet stitches now two chain one two for our next corner and one more two double crochet stitches in the corner one two Okay, now we need to make three double crochet stitches along this side. One, two, and you remember over here, this was our chain of three, okay, chain three. So we need to go into that one, and over here also we connected our blue one, so go below the blue one. Go the, I, I go usually below the blue one into that stitch, okay, and crochet over the blue color with my stitch, okay. See, you kind of camouflage it, it's, you cannot see it that much. And now we need to finish our corner with two double crochet stitches. Don't forget those double crochet stitches two of them in the corner okay so we have one two double crochet stitches of the blue and one two double crochet stitches of the pink in this corner okay and then you will make one two chain and one two three connected right there with the slip stitch okay and again we will turn around and you see my yarn is in the back and I will go under and make it slip stitch a long slip stitch so I get more in the middle there and I will continue my next row I'm ready for my next row actually before I start my next row I want to share something with you uh, I made this square in here already uh, and uh, I made a mistake and I wanted to point it out to you all of you because uh, uh, if you make that mistake your square is going to look funny look at my square there is a mistake in there you have to maintain in every co corner in every corner anywhere two double crochet stitches two chain and two double crochet stitches when i was finishing this row i forgot to put two double crochet stitches in this corner that's why it looks funny okay plus also you would not uh, you would cut your 
you would decrease by two stitches your you know your uh, side so and that's why it would be pulling and making it look look uh, skewed okay so don't forget I almost did it over here you remember I think here okay so now let's go and work on our uh, next row I will show you two more rows okay so one two three this represents double crochet stitch okay and so this is like one and two in this corner and then when we get to the end of this row we will have two more blue ones okay now because we did two here and two here in these corners we have four extra stitches so you will go and work three initial were three plus four seven so you need to make seven double crochet stitches along this side okay so work that that's one two three four Seven. You see how it works out perfect? Now we will make again two double crochet stitches, two chain, two double crochet stitches into this corner. Okay? One double crochet stitch, second. Now we will make corner one, two, and again two double crochet stitches in the corner one and two. Now we will make seven double crochet stitches along this side. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay, and we're again in a corner, and here is where we change into a different color. So, what we have to do is we need to make two double crochet stitches in pink, one and two, and one chain. Tighten this up a little bit. Okay. And now we will switch to color. It has to be in the back. Okay, and we will make first loop through our chain and a chain. Okay, and now we will, this needs to stay in the back, don't crochet over it. Now we will make two double crochet stitches in a corner with the blue one. Don't forget those. Uh, double crochet stitches in the corner okay two and two separated with those two stitches two chain stitches okay now again we need to make seven double crochet stitches along this side one two Four, five, six, seven, and again in the corner two double crochet stitches, two chain and two double crochet stitches. So this is one and two, two chain, one, two, and one more two double crochet stitches. One more time. One, in two and now we will finish with seven double crochet stitches and two double crochet stitches in the corner with the blue okay so again seven double crochet stitches one this is two three 
four, five, six, and over here, because this is a little bit different, this is where we always connect to the other one with two chain stitches, so we slip stitched it over here. So we need to go under, do not forget about this one, so we need to go under this one here, okay? So place it in such way that you cover it nicely. You see how nice it looks? Okay, so this is seven and we still need to make two double crochet stitches in the corner. One and two. And now we will, because we do not have yarn like this over here, we need to connect with two chain. One, two, and with slip stitch into third one. One, two, three, with a slip stitch right there. Okay, so now at this point you could stop, but if you want to go and make your square longer, then you continue doing what I was doing. Again, you will turn your, turn your square around so this is in the back and pull this up a little bit because we will slip, stitches, slip stitch it over here. Okay? And we will make one, two, three chain, which represents our double crochet stitch. Okay? And we will make one more double crochet stitch in the corner. One, two, in the corner. Now we had seven plus two and two in here, that's plus four. Seven plus four is eleven. We will go and crochet eleven double crochet stitches along the side. Okay? And I will be speeding up this video now because it's too many stitches. So when I get over here, we will make corner. I made 11 double crochet stitches along this side and now we are ready to do our corner again. Two double crochet stitches, one and two, two chain, one, two, two double crochet stitches, one and two, And now we will make again 11 double crochet stitches along this side. Okay, so do that and I will see you again and help you in this corner. So make 11 double crochet stitches. Okay, I made 10 double crochet stitches because I want to show you this part so you don't make any mistake here. So this is my 11th double crochet stitch. Okay, and you may think that this one is also a double crochet stitch that belongs to the side that you would not go and count. But no, you remember this is that extra string that you need to go around into the corner in here and make two double crochet stitches for the corner. So don't make, do not make, don't do this, that you would go and put in one more double crochet stitch here and then two. One and two. Because this would be extra stitch and it would make your side too long, okay? So you cannot go, no, 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 you cannot go in there, you cannot, okay, wrong. So we will go beyond this string, okay, behind it, in this, under the pink one, okay. So this is one and two. This is the correct way to do it, otherwise you will have an extra stitch. And again, you pull up here a little bit and 
uh, we still need to make chain okay and again with the pink one so this goes in the back of the pink one and I'm getting tangled here so let's go and connect our pink one so we will again pull yarn through okay again don't forget don't make this uh, yarn too long okay and a chain and now we will make don't crochet over this yarn I cannot stress it enough and we will make two double crochet stitches in the corner one and two okay so this is our corner where we will work where you would work next one okay and we will if you want you know bigger square I think this is my last one one two three this is my fourth row so this is my last row okay and again we will make 11 double crochet stitches along this side one and I will speed up my video so I made my 11 double crochet stitches and we're here again in the corner this is very easy because this is from the uh, uh, we don't have to switch colors right in one and two chain and two more double crochet stitches in the corner okay and again we will make 11 double crochet stitches along the side And again I made 10 actually because I want to show you not to forget this last stitch over here which this is going to be our 11th and that you need to go under the blue you go under the blue okay let me do it a little bit better under the blue okay and you make double crochet stitch there and you see how nicely it covers and now we will we still have to make those two pink double crochet stitches in the corner one and two okay not to forget otherwise we will have a very funny looking square and we need to make this um, corner with two chain and one two three connect it into a circle slip with slip stitch and last and tighten up and this is our last row but you could continue you could go and start going back again to to here but um, this is how you finish your co uh, square so this is how you finish your square and we will actually I will cut off my uh, ends and what I usually do is just uh, take a smaller hook okay and weave in the ends over here I will weave in the pink one one more time but the blue one is going to be problem because I would go um, I would go back I would undo it so because I crocheted over it so I just will cut my center okay and now again I have skinnier hook I will go and weave this in okay and weave it in such way that you cannot see it so I usually go and now also don't forget you need to weave it in on the, uh, on the 
if you're making many squares always on the same side make sure that you're weaving it on the in on the uh, side that uh, is the same like every other square okay so like if you choose that this is your wrong side make sure that all the squares you weave in on the wrong side okay so here we are finished with my square this is the one that I finished okay and this is the one that I uh, am using as an example of what could go wrong so don't forget you see how funny it looks in here this one looks perfect this one looks funny in this area because I did not put those two double crochet pink stitches in there I have two double crochet blue stitches but I don't have the pink ones and that's why it looks very funny so don't make any mistake like that okay and uh, so always check your uh, corners and always count your sides so that's all for today ladies and gentlemen thank you again for watching my videos share them please and uh, I guess I will see